Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, oh, only a rerun. Okay. Coffee. Mmm. Delicious coffee. Okay, I guess Abigail is running outside today again. What do I do with the scarecrows? I don't really know. Guess I've thrown the last ones away. Oh, Leah. Hey. Uh, hi, Psy. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a long time. I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, it's that statue. Uh, you received a Leah sculpture. <laughs> it's called How I, F How I Feel About Psy. I hope you like it. Thanks. Um, you were like a ninja, Abigail. <laughs> I spent the morning repairing a few of the fences. They should be as good as new. I also filled Slobber's water bowl. Make sure to keep things tidy around your grandpa's shrine. There's something special about it. I can feel it. Yeah, there's a statue standing out over there. Dear Psy, tomorrow is the feast of the winter star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Marnie? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then, Major Lewis. Oh yeah, right. The feast of the winter star. I have to go and see if I can give Marnie something awesome. I've been trying to cause the game to turn this chest into something interesting again and it never did. <laughs> I'm just not trusting it enough. Maybe I'll put the scarecrow in it. It's not really that use. It's not very important. So... Hmm. Yeah. No, wait! I should stop wearing it over my head. <laughs> Sugar! Sugar! Sweet, sweet, delicious sugar. Oh my god, winter is almost over. Um, hi. Oh, a duck feather! Nice! I love duck feathers. They look beautiful. Eh, come on. Hi, birdie! Hi, little witch. Hi, Dimitri. Okay, I guess that was everyone. Ooh, a regular egg. That's... R rather rare. <laughs> okay. Ooh, two golden ones. Um, I only need one more, so... One is... Yeah, make two out of it. And the wool. Don't forget to turn the wool into cloth. People love it. And it's n really necessary. Oh yeah, right, we can buy some animals today. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Okay. Great. Moo. And ah, to you. <laughs> the sh machines will refill this one. Great. Uh, milk pail goes in here. And... This one goes over here, here, here. Good. Uh, quick check how our plants are doing. Sweet. More grapes. And hot pepper. And... Yep, looks nice. Oh, wait, potato. <laughs> and... One... Seed surprise. Good. It's slowly but surely growing. And I should start searching for a good spot for my plants, for my other trees. Um, okay, this goes in. Don't want to sell this one. Gonna sell this one. 
Um, do I still need the duck feathers? Um, bulletin board. No, not the enchanter. The dye bundle. Okay, I already have it. I only need the red cabbage. Okay. And that means I can sell the duck feather. It's so colorful. <laughs> Even the description says it. Good. Uh, pine tower goes in here. Oh, wait. I think I needed pine tower for something. Yep. For the loom. Do I still have some of those? Yeah, five pieces of them. <laughs> no biggie. Okay. Uh, periwinkle? Oh, wow, a lot is done right now. Um, hold that thought. I don't have wheat. Uh, periwinkle. Sword. The evil mayonnaise. Yeah, I, I'm going to sell it. This goes in, this goes in. Sugar goes in. I have a lot of those. Maybe I'll sell one. <laughs> It wouldn't be such a bad idea. Um, turn grape into starfruit wine. Pickled bok choy. I guess I made this in order to... Hmm. Yeah. Seven? I think I made this one in order to get the u collection to register the pickled stuff. A jar of your homemade pickles. Mm -hmm. Pickled bok choy and pickled eggplant. Okay, they look like they look completely identical. Which is understandable. There are a lot of items in this game. You don't really have the time to color every single one of those fruit variations that can be pickled or that can be turned into pickles or jam. That'd be a lot of work. And there has been already so much love and work in this game. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to place it here. Artist artist room. That's the artist room. Okay. No. Good. I'm going to buy me some animals. Let's see what Morny got. And depending on what she has. She oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. I forgot about my little slimy for a moment. Depending on what uh, kind of animals she has, she's going to get or not get anything good. Howdy! Howdy yourself! Okay, I can buy sheep for 8,000. Adults can be shorn for wool. Sheep who form a close bond with their owners can grow wool faster. A pair of shears is required to harvest the wool. And pig. S wait, what? You're charging me for... Okay, it's a truffle pig, but seriously, 16,000 for one pig. These pigs are trained to find truffles. Lives in a barn. Okay, I'm going to buy me one pig. And one sheep. She's really not cheap with the prices. Um, how am I going to call you? Well, um... Grieche, Carlbert, Pilbert, Shetsu, Grolla, Nietzsche, Tonono... Medo. Um. Oh, I know. Waddles. I'm going to call you Waddles. <laughs> Great, I'll send little Waddles to his. N it's a he! It's a he! For the first time, it's a he! <laughs> Wait, um. Uh, just. Does it say what gender it is? No, it's just for your new pig. Okay. Okay, I've got waddles now and sheep. I'm going to buy myself one sheep, even though I have a woolly rabbit. Just to have a sheep. Uh, almost. Sean. 
Sean the Sheep. Yes. Great, I'll send little Sean to her new home right away. Oh, it's a her. <laughs> it's okay. Nicely done, Marnie. Nicely done. You've robbed me of quite some money there. <laughs> yes. You really should be careful with this room. <sighs> Come on, Major Lewis. I know I'm getting in your way, but still. Yeah. Sure. All her business needs are met. Go and meet her private ones. No one's home. I mean, I'm, I'm really... Not nice to them, <laughs> I know. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I want to say thank you to Leah for the sculpture. Let's see. Leah? Oh, uh, she's on the phone. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore slam that phone on down <laughs> see uh, so I guess you heard me yelling on the phone I guess everybody heard it in the entire valley that was my ex oh <laughs> yeah a bit clingy huh I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on odd projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. Wait, odd jobs? What are you talking about? She was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PDA meetings, that sort of things. Eh, uh, PDA meetings? Is that normal? I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Psy. I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. How are you paying rent here? With your art, I guess. Was was that selfish of me, Psy? No, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. <laughs> no, but you would have been better off staying in the city. Yeah, a little. Yeah, but it's natural to care about yourself first. There are selfless people out there. I don't think she would have been better off in the city. I guess it... Hmm. I guess I'm going to reassure her of her decision. She, If you, she felt trapped in her relationship, then sometimes cutting the ties seems to be the best choice hmm. for yourself. You're right. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I see you're making an exact replica of what you gave to me. <laughs> I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley a premier art destination, Psy. Eh, kinda. Why do I keep getting kicked out? Hello. I saw a snow rabbit early this morning. They're rare, aren't they? Yeah, but the I see squirrels around as well, and those are supposed to sleep during winter. Most of the animals are supposed to sleep. During winter. Why am I going down here? It's Wednesday. 
Um, oh yeah, right. Did I say hello to my new little animal friends? I don't think so. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I wanted to collect some more wood. And say hello to my new little animal friends. I'm going to do that right away. Or I'll remember when they're trying to sleep. Ah, oh, hello, Waddles. Hello, Sean. It definitely looks like Sean. In you go. Good. And wood. Oh, yeah, right. I wanted to check. <clears throat> wanted to go into the mines and everywhere. <laughs> now that my pickaxe is stronger than ever. Hmm. I could also upgrade my axe. Would make cutting down those a little bit easier. Or maybe I'll upgrade my my hoe so I can be a bit faster on the first day. And since I'm not going to really yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. Uh, question is, do I have enough iron bars? I've got four and four iron ore. The answer is no. <laughs> I can't upgrade. Okay. Noted. Dutifully noted. Uh, this goes in here. Okay, I guess I'm going to head into the mines then. Whoop. Come on, take it. I could force Pam to drive into the desert. <laughs> well, that's not very useful. Hey, Pam. If you want to get on Gus' good side, give him fish taco. It's his favorite. I don't know the recipe, though. I'd love to. I, I swear I'd love to, but I don't know the recipe. Whoops. Stone, stone, stone. Hmm. Wiggly worms. And mixed seeds. And Clint closed the shop. Even if I could teleport it, I'd be too late right now. Um, uh, how many of those slimes and stuff do I have to kill? Okay, slowly but surely. I'm close to the bats. And, oh god, the dust sprites. Not even close to somewhere near. Can I make a sprite dust sprite range? Can they automatically start to appear near uh, my furnaces or something? That'd be nice. Poof. Okay. Oh wow. Lucky shot. The sprites? Hello. Dust sprites! Oh, there you are. And coal. And iron. Yes! Great! Whoops. Oh, I only need one hit. Okay. Nice. <laughs> wow. And that's how long it takes you to get only 10 iron ore with three hits. Sweet. Maybe I'm going to visit Gus Tavern today. Just talk with the people again. Hmm. Nope, nope. Oh yeah, right, I forgot there was a ladder down here. 
Whoopsie. Um, nothing really that interesting in here. Wood. Hey yo. Uh, it just vaporized. Okay. I've seen the quartz. I'm just not that interested in it. Always keep an eye on your energy bar. It's rather low. And seeing that the sword is the only thing that doesn't burn up your energy any thanks to the longevity mod, I'd say hooray. Uh, I'm going to play music. <laughs> Would have been bad if I had forgotten to take out the music sheet from George. <laughs> Passing time by even faster. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Ah, oh, playful music! Boop. Hello! <laughs> Uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Ooh, a topaz. Nice. Whoops. Okay. Next one. Okay. No containers. Bats! I hear the bat. That's nice. How much speed boost do I get? Don't know. I remember to check too late. Ooh, sweet. Frozen tear, frozen tear. Mine. Yeah, it's getting late. Uh, better return to the surface and make my way to Gus. Linus, you're still up here? Why are you hiding in your tent? Yeah, there he is. Hi! In an effort to stay warm and positive, I'd started to learn the way of the hedgehog. Eh, uh, okay. It is difficult, but I think it's coming along. I just don't have the whole spine thing down yet. <laughs> I don't think that this is supposed to be the way it works. I mean, there is a hedgehog dilemma, I know. Meaning that you want to be friends, but the closer you get, the more hurt you hurt the other one. So... I don't really think becoming a hedgehog is a good idea. Except you want to be a blue hedgehog that is pretty fast, then good luck with that. It's pretty late. Welcome. It's flu season, so you'd better be extra careful. Make sure to wash your hands often. But then my hands will get dry. Hey, what do you need? Hey, it's more open <laughs> way to talk to me. I need a little warm me up. Yes. Hey Shane, how are you doing? I guess I've grown attached to Marnie and Jess. We're a ragtag bunch, but it kind of feels like a weird family. Uh, you are related. I never really had much of a family as a kid. Okay, nice to know. Good thing he's starting to feel like home. I spilled a whole bucket of milk on the floor today. It was horrible. Mm-hmm. And such a waste of my poor Belinda's hard work. Yes. Yes, indeed. <sighs> hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. I'm not moping. At the great winter gunfight at Stardrop Saloon. Two were dead by the end of it. How many gunfights were in this friggin' saloon? Turns out the man's wife wasn't cheating on him after all, but he was cheating on her. It always comes out in the wash. Such a waste of life for someone trying to dodge the blame. 
Oh, it's still the same gunfight. Anyway, halfway to the weekend. Have a good one. Wait, does did his wife shoot him? What? This is confusing. <laughs> Andy and I aren't made for such a big house. It's a hassle to keep it clean. And well, I really shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> Your farmhouse seems nice and cozy. Yep, and it's growing and growing. Abigail and I are thinking about adopting a kid. So it's definitely getting fill full in there. <laughs> Toodles! <laughs> uh, okay, nothing of interest. The winter store feast is tomorrow. Another reason to start searching for a good idea to give Marnie a present. I just don't know what. I really don't know what to give her. I know that she likes quartz, she doesn't love it. Uh, Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure what to give her. Maybe I'll just try something out and hope it will work. <laughs> hey. Slime. This, this, and this. This will go in here. Okay. Okay. I won't be able to upgrade my tools tomorrow. Oh, yeah, right. I, sh I could smelt the iron bars. What am I doing? One, two, three. I don't see any copper bars. Okay. Should start working on those as well, because I think I need those for kegs. Yep, I need them for kegs. I still have some room for those. <laughs> iron, iron, iron. Iron, iron, iron. Iron, iron, iron. <laughs> bada, bada, bada. I can't reach this low. With my voice, unfortunately. And two of those. Nice. Sap oil. Good. And the periwinkle. Yeah. And anything else is okay. Okay. knew it. Good. I'm going to keep this the seeds in my pocket cause I don't probably will forget to pick them up tomorrow again. Love you slobber. Night honey. See you for tomorrow's festival. <laughs> yes please. <gasps> oh Santa. <laughs> nice. That's a nice little gimmick. Sweet. All right. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lovely, lovely. All right. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, <laughs> we'll see each other next time. <laughs> Bye.